Laurie Ryan Clare, you're in Crow Park here, but you've never played here before. So how does it feel to be here with the thought that it's just around the corner? Um, it's really exciting. Um, I know a lot of the girls on our team haven't played here either. So there's a great buzz around the camp and we're all kind of asking the older girls what's it like just to kind of get used to what it's going to be like on the day. But there's a real good buzz about what it's going to be like and the exciting waiting for it to happen now. And what are the older girls telling you about it? Uh, they just tell us to keep going, it's any, just like a normal match and um, I suppose Henchy and Neve Keane have played here, they played 2008 and 2009 so it's great to have their experience and then um, Emma Driscoll and Sarah Bohannon are also there so it's great just to be able to ask them what it's like because it's nice to know as well coming into it that you're not going to be overawed by the whole occasion. But it's not really a normal match is it? Uh, no, I suppose it's a lot more than that, but at the end of the day, you can't let that get on top of you. So that's something we're kind of focusing on now, just to treat it like you would any other match, even though there's a lot more um, at stake. But we're we're going to just go hell for leather and hope for the best. <laughs> on the other side of that, Kildare were here only 12 months ago. So who's in the better position? Yeah, um, Kildare were a brilliant team and they came up against an excellent Waterford team last year so they have a big advantage in that over us and they're also a young team like us which is a big thing to have that experience coming into this game and we know that they're not going to take us for granted either which is tough coming in as we're probably the underdogs but we're going to go for it anyway and hope we can do it on the day. You had quite a journey to get here, the rain in Mullingar, losing the Munster final, coming back and beating Tipperary in the All-Ireland semi-final, so you've earned it. Yeah, I suppose every match for us this year has taken a completely different twist to the match before it. Um, we played Limerick twice, we played Tipperary twice, and then that day in Mullingar against Tyrone was just bizarre. So um, to get here is a huge achievement and we're not taking anything for granted now. We know we have one more match to try do what we set out to do at the start of the year. That must have brought the team together though, there must be a great spirit in the team at this point. Yeah, and I think the fact we only have 21 players is adding to the whole unity in the team and the fact we've bonded over the year with 21 players, you can't avoid anyone. So we've really built a great relationship and I think that's standing to us and especially the last few minutes of the Tipperary game, everyone was just fighting for each other at that stage. And what does it mean to you to get to play in Crow Park, you personally? Um, I suppose it's what you dream about and it's a huge honour to be playing here representing your county and we don't want to take it for granted either because you never know if you'll get back here so it's just exciting now and can't wait. And what about support and Clare from the likes of your club, all the clubs and of course UL where you are as well? Yeah, oh, there's been huge support and we've been really lucky and clear that loads of businesses have got behind us and our sponsor has been really great and Lidl have actually been huge as well and it's great for all of us. There's a great buzz around the place and all the clubs are getting buses up as well, which is huge and even UL, all the girls are saying how you set and best to look, so it's great just to have all that support. And what is your message to supporters? It's on TG Kahar, but you want them to be here. Yeah, definitely. You actually can't be coming out and coming to the match and there's going to be three brilliant games on So, and the tickets are really good. So like, I'd be foolish not to come, I think, at this stage. Have you been here before, even as a supporter on All-Ireland Final Day? Do you know what it's like? Yeah, I'd come every year. We'd go to the Sevens, which is a great day out. And as a team, then we'd all come to watch the matches. So it's brilliant. There's a great atmosphere and there's always a great buzz around the place as well. So it's really good.